showing you guys how I install um, this wig that I got from AliExpress it is a China Bang wig and I'm gonna be doing it glueless so that I can take it off whenever I please um, you guys will just be seeing me corn roll my hair here back into four French braids and um, I'm actually coming up on about three years since I did my big chop I uh, cut my hair probably about less than an inch it was pretty damaged heat damaged and it just wasn't doing well so I decided one day just to start over and um, I've been doing well so far except for about a year ago I had a setback when I did a leave out weave and I was straightening my hair too much the leave out part and I had some more heat damage so I just cut off the top part and now so my hair kind of does a layered thing but so far other than that I've enjoyed my little natural journey um, so yeah, what you guys will see here is just me repeating this process about two more times. So now that my braids are all done, I'm going to be taking the back of them and braiding it into one big braid um, so that I can just lay it flatly under my cap. be taking my black stocking cap and putting it on my head i didn't use the nude one that they sent because for this wig it didn't matter the lace um came pretty nicely uh bleached and it's pretty transparent to me so um i kind of like to save my nude caps for laces that don't come so great <laughs> and then here i'm just kind of fiddling with the bangs uh because for some reason with this wig it didn't come um the bangs didn't seem even to me and um although i am not a hairstylist or a hairdresser i just did it to um, my liking you know best of my abilities so um i just cut into them a little bit because they weren't evenly cut from side to side um, then I'm just going to go ahead and get them out of my way and cut the lace uh, to the best of my ability. I don't really like um, too much trip on how I cut the lace because I don't like it to look too perfect anyway. I like it to look more natural. <music> taking the true match tinting spray in the color tan and just spraying the lace to match like a scalp color for me or well, a more natural scalp color for my skin tone um then i had to get up y'all and blow dry it uh dry because I, my cord by me wasn't working um so sorry for being ghetto excuse my background too um I haven't been able to do an update video in a while, but I did move and I'm still getting everything together in here. So do not judge, please. Uh, but 
I'll do a video on that soon. Um, updating y'all on where, when, and why I moved. Um, but um, what you see me doing here is just using some free spray a little bit just to kind of like hold it down and secure it so I can customize it more while it's on my head. Like I said earlier, um, I'm doing glueless because I want to be able to take this off at night or whenever I please. Um, I don't want to be restricted to wearing a wig when I don't want to. Um, but I do install sometimes. So, But right now, I just wanted to do this one glueless. Um, here, I'm just taking my tweezers and plucking the edges to look more natural and not so thick. I'm not really good at the whole plucking thing yet or not as good as I would like to be. So, um, you know, it's a process, progression. You know what I'm saying? Not perfection. So, <laughs> like I said, y'all, I'm not a hairstylist. This is just how I do for myself, how it works, how I save my little coins. Because, you know, hairstylists ain't in the budget right now. So, um, I've learned from watching YouTube myself. And I just share how I do mine for people that are, like, on my level with it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what this is so yeah i'm customizing the other side with tweezers as well so that it doesn't look so thick here um and then um after that i'm just gonna be styling and bumping and doing what i do so you know if you made it this far i appreciate you um continue watching to the end and i'll see y'all next time Thank you.